I thought this movie called Mom and Dad starring Nicolas Cage was going to be just fun. But maybe that's just for me. My expectations were too high because of what I know about Nicolas Cage. But he's pretty tamed throughout this whole movie until the very end. That's when we meet crazy Nicolas Cage, right? What a full on like this crazy, right? However, this movie is about how a bunch of parents, all parents of the whole world or maybe just this town, they start killing their children. And I don't think the movie even knows how to explain this. They explain, it's, it's like a pandemic phenomenon. Parents are going crazy. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe I missed it. Maybe I did miss it. Because I'm like kind of marathoning more of these movies. Sorry. Trying to get ready for all the Halloween movies. But yeah, I don't think that's explained. There's even like a like a riot and protest outside of school. Which again, when it was like, oh guys, this is going to turn into like real life protesting things. It didn't. But at any time, there's like, like a glimpse of that. Like some kind of real life issue or social issue or political issue going on. And it's like being projected on movies or TVs. Don't really like that. I like, I, it, it's escapism for me. You know, I feel like most people feel that. The reason why they they listen to music watch tv shows or watch movies it is for escapism they want to escape from the real life situation right now and want to get out of it by watching these shows and watching whatever doing whatever and so it, it didn't this movie didn't do that but i was like oh god is it getting there you know luckily it didn't there's like scenes of this girl that we're following who's in high school who's just a being complete bitch to like her whole family you know she's just being mean and so you know eventually nicholas Cage and his wife they go crazy and they go after their parents we see some of the girl's friends her parents kill her friends and did that makes sense. I think that made sense. Kind of creepy, right? Your own parents just kind of turning on this thing of wanting to kill you. That's creepy. That was a creepy element of this movie. Again, I don't think they need to explain it, but maybe a little bit more nudging to explain would have helped. But I digress. There's even a scene, by the way. There's even a scene where Nicolas Cage, his like parents come after him. So grandparents are killing their kids while like those parents are killing their kids. Like it's just like a generational thing. It's like, oh, okay. Again, never explained, but kind of a cool idea. So there's like this chase scene where that grandpa's trying to kill Nicolas Cage. Nicolas is trying to kill his son. Like it was a goofy, fun sort of like, scene. <laughs> that was fun. That's probably the only scene I was like, Oh hey, this is this is cool, yeah. Somehow at some point they visually tie up the Nicholas Cage and his wife. And so, you know, in the end scene where they're like, you know, I love you, mom and dad. We're sorry for specifically the daughter who's again a mean bitch. She's like, she's sorry for being a complete bitch. She's so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She's ungrateful as fuck. You know, and both of them, Nicholas Cage and his wife, talk back. Of course they, they love the kids, but sometimes they just have this feeling of wanting to kill them. So, you know, they didn't say that, but that's like how the movie ends. So I took that ass who wrote this movie obviously has an understanding of kids and you know when parents they have kids you know it's fun and cute when they're babies but eventually when they grow up they have to you know be their own person and sometimes you know some parents I, i'm not a parent yet but having a kid could be a blessing but sometimes annoy you and sometimes they just you know want to kill you sometimes not literally just kind of like metaphorically or just something like that, that where they don't actually want to kill you kill you literally they just say that because like man i love you but goddamn you make me have a headache every day you know however this movie is like taking it as this movie obviously is exaggerating it and taking it literally which is a good idea i liked it but again maybe just me but i want a full crazy nicholas cage throughout the whole movie i only got that for the last like 25 minutes which is fine but it's i think it's okay yeah that right? yeah movie's okay mom and dad is o a okay next the last movie before i do the halloween franchise is a quiet place i've definitely have seen this movie i'm excited to watch it again